The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Wheat School series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. In this episode, I talked to Brian Ellis of Graham C. Treaters in Olds, Alberta. Brian and I talk about how to properly treat your wheat seed, as well as some of the things that can actually go wrong when it comes to treating, and what an uneven versus an even treated wheat seed looks like. Check out our conversation now. We manufacture seed treating equipment, application equipment. We've been doing this for about 20 years. Um, we sell primarily in Western Canada, but also throughout the United States and some international sales down to Australia and Central America as well. Okay, so let's talk about the importance of uniform seed treating and, and how, how producers can kind of achieve that. For sure, if you're, it, just like any process in agriculture, if you're gonna do it, let's make sure we do a good job. If we do a poor job of application, then we're gonna lose some of the benefit that we've invested in the seed that we're planting for the year and the chemical as well. So talk about why, you know, what can actually happen if you're not treating seed uniformly? Okay, so we're trying to match a given amount of seed flow with a given amount of chemical. And if we end up with an application that's only hitting 50% of the seed, then half of the seed that we're planting for the year is going in the ground untreated, unprotected against seed and soil borne diseases. If we're gonna go to the trouble of putting the investment into the seed and the chemical, let's make sure that we do a good job of application so we get all the benefit out of that treatment. So what, what are some of the things that can go wrong when it comes to equipment or, or what typically goes wrong for producers? The equipment, to be honest, a lot of the problems that we get telephone calls from in the spring is from producers that maybe forgot to winterize their systems, they forgot to clean them out the year before. And unfortunately, sometimes we get guys that don't really plan ahead and they pull their seed treater out and we want to use it this afternoon and they find out that my pump doesn't work or I have a leak or whatever the problem is and then they're scrambling to do it. So the biggest thing is if guys can be a little proactive, do a little bit of maintenance ahead of time, make sure everything's ready to go, it's going to really lower their stress level on day one. Talk about some of those things you can actually be preparing for when it comes to the equipment because like you said, it's not a matter of just pulling it out in the afternoon. So we have some time now, what can we be doing? Okay, so the big thing is gonna be how the equipment was put away last year. So let's assume that hopefully everything got cleaned out and we put a little bit of RV antifreeze through the system so it's winterized. Bring your treater out, make sure you flush a bit of water through it. See if you have any leaks, number one. Is your strainers leaking or your hoses leaking? Is there any cracked hoses that have been in the sun that need to be replaced? Pretty basic stuff. Check your strainers, are they nice and clean? Is there any masked off areas of the strainer? Do they need to be replaced? Those types of things. As far as the actual treater, pull your nozzle components out. Make sure that they're not plugged. There's nothing in there that's gotten in there over the winter. Nice and clean. You've got the right size for the product that you're gonna use. And then you should be ready to go after that. But always run a bit of water through it. It's gonna be a lot easier to test it with just a bit of water if we end up with a leak and spill some. So be it if you end up with a jug of seed treatment going out on a leak. It's not gonna be very pretty. So talk about what that visual actually looks like when it comes to a good sample of a, a treated seed and a mediocre sample. You can usually, if you, if you grab a sample, there's two ways you can do this. You can actually, there's a lab test that you can do where you can send your sample away and see what a proper load analysis is on that seed to see what kind, but that's kind of a, after the fact type of tests that you can do that maybe for later in the season you have some more information or even for the further years going down the line. The easy way, grab a sample as it hits the truck after it's been through the augers. We're looking for uniformity across the seed. Make sure that as many kernels as possible have the same amount of dosage on it. And don't just go by color. Make sure you're following the manufacturer's advice on what the recommended rates are because some of these treatments look different. They have different pigments in them, different shades of red. So if you're used to seeing one and you look at the other, you might be looking for the wrong things. And do you recommend testing multiple times, actually looking at it, not just, you know, one and done, we're good? Again, yeah, if you're, if you're going to the trouble to do it in the spring, make sure you're doing it right. So just have a look in the truck every load you do. Grab a visual, grab a handful or a sample, go through it, make sure everything is still operating the way it should be. 
let's make sure you give that seed the best start possible.